Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. I want to cover the Starlink pipe adapter kit in a little bit more detail today. Uh, if you're like most, you're probably waiting for your kit to come in and uh, you're trying to plan your install. And uh, there's just not a whole lot of detail that's available on some of these accessories. So I hope to cover some of this today to, to help you out a little bit. Besides dimensional details of the actual pipe adapter itself, which I'll cover in a second, you might just be wondering like what's actually in the kit. And it wasn't obvious for me until it showed up and I was kind of surprised by some of the things that were in it. Um, so it does come with this, you know, little paper, this little pamphlet. And one of the first things in the first page here is uh, a little graphical overview of what's in the kit. So I'll cover the dimensional details and features of the pipe adapter itself in a second. But the thing that surprised me that I wasn't aware that would chip is a carrying bag. Um, so this carrying bag has a drawstring on one side and it fits the rectangular dish. And uh, you just kind of snug it up around the perimeter here. Um, this is not padded, so it's not really gonna protect it. I think the intention here is just to help you carry it up a ladder so that you can safely install. The kit ships with two sets of set screws, quantity six of each type. Um, they're both six millimeter by one coarse, and um, they're, I think, nominally 30 millimeters long for the longer one, and 16 millimeters long for the shorter. For everyone that operates on Freedom Units, that's uh, 1.176 inches for the long and let's see, 0.631 for the short. The kit does ship with a hex key and uh, you'll need a three millimeter one if you're trying to use your own. The kit ships with 40 of these cable retention clips. Um, they're injection molded plastic there's a Phillips head on top to drive them, and also um, a quarter inch driver seems to work best on these. Once the screw is fully driven, it'll be about 0.6 inches deep in whatever material you're drilling in. That's about 15 millimeters. The cable retention clips are about 0.8 inches long, or 20.32 millimeters. The width is about 0.357 inches or 9 millimeters. And the height's about 0.417 inches or 10.58 millimeters. So I made another overview of my install. I'll leave uh, the link in the description. And I went over some of this in there, but I want to go into more detail since this is just about the pipe adapter. Um, not only this thing is meant for up to a two and a half inch diameter pipe, I'll show these features in more detail in a second. Um, and this is where the Starlink pipe fits in from the top. So this is the pipe in the bottom of the dish. Um, I guess the most important features here are this detent. See how it moves. Um, there's a feature on the inside diameter of the top of the pipe adapter that that fits into. And then also there's a keyway here um, and there's a corresponding key inside. So that's the key. And then this is the feature, that little relief is what the detent fits into. Just for a little bit more clarity, some better lighting, that's the relief for the detent. And with better lighting, that's the key from both sides. So from this top-down view, you could see how the features align with each other, right across from each other, basically. And you could also see how the set screws align relative to those features. This is what it looks like from the bottom. You have these three bosses sticking in where the set screws are threaded through. And there's a pretty heavy taper on the side of this and correspondingly on the faces inside on these bosses. Um, you know, you would be able to stick in a pipe that's bigger than two and a half inches because of the taper, but it's going to interfere if you try to put something larger than two and a half inches because it tapers. It's about a two degree draft angle. All right, for some specific dimensions, the inside diameter is about 1.357 inches. 
And in millimeters, that's about 34.5 millimeters. The outside diameter of the top of the pipe adapter is about 1.53 inches, and that is 38.85 millimeters approximately. The outside diameter of the bottom is about 3.17 inches, which is 80 and a half millimeters. The wall thickness of the bottom side of the pipe adapter looks to be about 0.12 inches, which is three millimeters. And then on the boss, it's about 0.234 inches, which is 5.94 millimeters. This will give you a rough idea of the dimensions from the side where the set screws are and length of the side in inches and in centimeters. It's kind of difficult to get inside there to measure the key, but you could use the stand that it ships with to get an idea. It's about 0.368 inches or 9.3 millimeters. In trying to get an approximate dimension on how far the key sticks inside, the diameter, it's about 1.16, 1.15, 1.17, depending on how you measure. It's just an approximation, and that's uh, 29.3 millimeters. Overall length of the entire pipe adapter is about 5.125-ish inches, which is about... 130 and a quarter millimeters and that's about how big it is compared to a Frenchie All right, so this is what it looks like with the carry bag installed and the drawstring pulled You're gonna want to really make sure this thing's secure before you carry this two things I want to highlight that relate to the pipe adapter kit uh, related to cable management and tolerances the first thing is if your goal was to install the cable through your pipe and through the pipe adapter kit so that you didn't have to have any external conduit, it is possible. I couldn't find that information anywhere, but you can see from this view, it's very possible and it works well. The second thing I wanna highlight is the tolerance between the key and the keyway. Uh, there's quite a bit of slop there and you actually get a few degrees of rotation uh, once installed of the satellite dish. I'm not really sure how many degrees of rotation it is, but so far, I haven't seen it affect performance. <laughs>